Right, it's steady climb up, folks. See that track there? If I'd come from Bicknoller Post and didn't want to do Bicknoller Coombe, I would have followed a track from over there and come down here and then gone down Paradise Coombe, which is where I've just come from. I'm now making my way through thick ferns. Um, I've got my jumper around my waist. I've got my light coat firmly strapped to my rucksack, which has got special straps for it. I've had only drunk one bottle of water. I've got a lovely big bottle of blackcurrant juice and another bottle of water. You can get stuff on the station anyway on the way back if I wanted to. A few clouds looking a little bit. They just say the possibility of light rain. I hope not. I brought no waterproofs whatsoever. The rucksack is waterproof and all the camera equipment and things like that have got covers. But I haven't. <laughs> like I said before though, the... The um, trousers dry out and what I do is put my jumper inside my rucksack so if I had to get soaked, it would just be my t-shirt. I wouldn't worry about my feet or my trousers or my, you know, I wouldn't worry about them. <sighs> yeah, that on Zoom should you're always doing it. And then at least I would have a warm jumper that I could put on if, later if I had to. A dry, warm jumper. Right, so all this, I've never done this path, okay? I've never actually followed that track round over there. There's another path that you can link up with it as well. I might possibly have done that one. I've got a feeling we're now on Thorncombe Hill in a minute. There's a path there. I think we're going to join it now. Then we're back on familiar ground for the rest of the walk. This is Thorncombe Hill. I remember that tree actually. Not much heather now. It's all looking a bit faint now, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, in theory, if you didn't want to do Paradise Coombe, you could just, where those sheep and those big avenue of trees were, beautiful trees and sheep, I could just walk straight across the field and come out come out there. I wouldn't have had to come up through the... I wanted to do Paradise Coombe. The thing is, that was a whole idea. To do it. I might not be doing Thorncombe Hill in reverse. I might go straight up onto the Macmillan track. Yeah, I did. That's what I did before. I knew about that coom. I'm going to carry on up. Hi, Tree. Of course, what happens... I'll get on the Macmillan track, which is there. There's a burial mound, Barrow. And then I'll pick up my bearings to look over towards Dowsborough Hill Fort in a minute and hire her nap, which I'm doing on purpose because of the views. So I'm going to join up with the Macmillan Way, which is the main route. <sighs> bye bye Paradise Coombe, nice to see you. <sighs> nice and quiet and peaceful. What it was before I came round there. 
I came round that hill. Takes you to, if you go right round that hill, you'll end up at the post. I might, I don't know whether to do that or not. Oh, I can't decide. Let's see, let's just go up here a minute. I came round that on one of my other walks. I came round that on the day I missed the turn into Bicknoller Coombe. Yeah, ending up transversing Weecombe Hill. Um, I thought I did. Right, so I'm just going up here. There's a main track up here. I'm going to join it. So we can see over to Dowsborough Hill Fort and the Coombs. So before we go, so I've been round that, I've done all that. That's that's Thorncombe Hill. And that. They both are, I think. I know I've got a feeling over there. I can't remember, so I'm sure. I ain't looking at the map either. Turn it off for a minute. Right, right over there would be Bicknoller Post, which I'll be coming up by the Shepherd's Coombe later and Hodder's Coombe into that little copse area. Somewhere down there is the the post. Um, there's the track I'll be coming up later, which leads down to Shepherd's Coombe and Hodder's Coombe. I'll be going up that, and then I'll be going. I will go back. Bicknoller Coombe. I won't go back down Paradise Coombe, no. I'm not going to use the way back. Um, I was going to. But it looks too... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I could do. But uh, I probably won't. I'll probably go back down Bicknoller, I think. This mist has suddenly appeared and it's coming out of the coom. It's like I've disturbed it. I saw two people a minute ago and uh, yeah, I mean, in the past I've walked right round that hill there and but this is the Macmillan Way I'm on now and as soon it won't be long before I sort of Diver over that way more. This will take you to the Hallsway Post. This does. This takes you to the Hallsway Post. But this is the main. This is a battle route. This is an army route, the Saxon army battle route. This is. It's called. It wasn't always called Macmillan Way. Of course, it wasn't. It's called Macmillan Way because it's used to raise money for cancer. Macmillan nurses and all that. It's been renamed, but it's actually a Saxon battle route and it was probably something be tribes before them, the Britons. So anyway, we've done very well. We've done very, very well. I've now got to do a big swoop round. Going up higher hair nap to the the Carn, then down to Holford. We never stay at Holford long. It'll just be a token visit. But, uh, yeah, I seen somebody a minute ago making their way down. Don't know where they've gone now, but um, 
There's so much to see here. It's nice to see the mist coming straight up. It's coming straight up. Paradise Coombe. Now imagine what it would have been like when I was in there with the mist coming up through it. That would have been quite spooky, I think. And pretty. Look at it. It's creeping up. It's saying, we're coming to get you, Sheila. We're the mess. We're the ghosts of the Quantax. We see you coming up through our, our coom. You've released us. So don't worry, I do get carried away. I've got such a vivid imagination when I'm out. You spend too much time walking on your own, go. <laughs> I am at peace when I'm up here. God, last night somebody in the building was either baking cakes. They were doing something. There was, God, it stunk the bloody whole building out. Yeah, we got this. Someone's got a flat in our building. And they like cooking lots of garlic and onions all the time. Makes our eyes water and our noses run. Yes, uh, creeping up. No sign of any deer. No sign of... I've seen one person who had a bleach blue t-shirt on. I'm going to turn off now and take a picture of this mist. Right, folks. I'm just skimming off the Macmillan Way now onto another tributary track. This Dowsborough Hill Fort, Iron Age Hill Fort over there. Not going near that today. Here's some of the coombs. Slaughterhouse Coombe, Somerton Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, Hodder's Coombe, um, Holford Coombe. And it's normally down there where all the deer are. So I thought I'd come over this way for a little bit. Just in case I can see any deer. I don't like coming off track though. This is where the ticks get you. This is where the ticks get you, see? When you start doing this, I'm trying to find my way to the path down there. I don't think I can do it. I might have to go back. I hate it when I make these errors, you know. It's not errors, it's just that the path's down there, which I want. It's not far. I'm going to follow this one. This is a bit more defined. That one dwindled out. Yeah, I just saw them pretty quick. There's a load of bikers there, look. I seen them up near the trick point a minute ago and they've already whizzed on, look. Yeah, so that, I think that's the lower hair nap, that track there. And then if I want to do the higher one, it's higher up, of course. Please take me to the big track. Please don't peter out. Yeah, I can see it. We can't be far away. Yeah, I can see it. It's a stone throw. What a lovely view there, everyone, isn't it? Look at it. This is my beautiful Quantox, everyone. Turning off for a minute.